you look at some of the, the historical claims and the bodily resurrection, and, and what do you make of all that? I found a book with Billy Graham where he was given his argument, and you've heard this before, either Jesus was a liar, either he's a pathological this, or Lord, he's, Lord liar lunatic. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, or he's telling the or truth, right? Truth, yeah. And then I'm sitting there saying, okay, so let's kind of break it down, like the areas I had the hardest time with, and what makes you think a woman at that time, the world is more naive, and you know, uh, uh, when Jesus is born for a lady named Mary to say, I never had sex with anybody, but I'm pregnant. Yeah, it's a pretty very naive, you know, people could believe it, but you couldn't get away with saying that today. If a woman tells you that, guys, I got pregnant, and, but I didn't have sex with anybody. Okay, how many people make that claim, mm -hmm. okay? How many have made that claim? I don't think it's a big number. <laughs> but here's the part, say a woman makes that claim, yeah. 33 years later, the claim you made, the guy ends up becoming who he becomes. Right, right. What are the chances? What are the chances? So, yeah. so then you're dealing with math and odds, and it's just totally messing with me at this point. Yeah. Bruce Lawn.